Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about PlayStation 2 emulation, Nintendo Switch emulation on Android, and a bunch of retro gaming logos. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about PlayStation 2 emulation with PCSX2. PCSX2 just got a brand new website and it looks great. Now, I'm not even joking here. My favorite feature about this new website is the toggle switch on the top right hand corner. By default, mine is set to night mode, but if you like to have your retinas burned out, you can switch it to light mode if you want. If we take a look at the before and after, the difference in appearance is staggering. It really goes to show how mature this website now looks and how mature PCSX2 has gotten. It's gotten a lot better in the last number of months. Now, downloading PCSX2 has also gotten a lot more streamlined. If you click the download button in the top left-hand corner, it brings you right to the stable releases, but if you scroll down, you can get to the nightly builds. This is a lot easier. And speaking of graphical improvements, PCSX2 also has a new GUI. It's been present in the nightly builds for quite some time now. But if you are on version 1.6 for PCSX2, or if you're on an earlier version, I do recommend checking out a nightly build just to get a taste of the new menu. Now moving on, but still talking about graphical improvements, if you're looking for HD texture packs for PS2 games, Stephen Malone over at GBATemp.net has you covered. I'll leave a link to this page in the description below, feel free to check it out. Steven has nicely organized a bunch of HD texture packs. The list of texture packs is active and it's continually growing, so if you don't see the game you're looking for, it might show up in the future. Next up here, we're still talking about graphical improvements. Dan Patrick over at the LaunchBox forums has redrawn a whole bunch of retro gaming logos about 22,000 images in total. If you are interested in these at all, I would highly recommend checking them out. They are very high quality here. They turned out amazing and they're absolutely free. On a side note here, these logos are so good that LaunchBox will be using them as their default. Last up today, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline. And yes, I have some more great news. And yes, this is kind of another breakthrough. Now, previously we reported that Super Mario Odyssey would boot up in Skyline, and now it actually gets into game. It doesn't get very far, and it's running at a whopping 0 to 1 frames a second. But at the same time here, this is progress, and this is progress at a very quick pace. In addition to that, it appears that sound is also working, which is a really, really good thing. Some of you might not think this is a big update, but trust me, this is pretty big. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was PS2 emulation, Nintendo Switch emulation, or those pretty cool graphical improvements on those old retro game logos. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, don't tempt fate, save your state.